Okay. Um, let's make sure we get this the right way. Again, pointing to the right. So this is the top. And we'll glue this one on first that has the uh, just the three notches and it goes in here like that. So a little bit of glue along the bottom here. Then we can put a little bit in here, make sure it's going to be nicely glued up. You can tell I'm not being super neat on this. This isn't a model or anything. It's a switch machine. There. We'll put the other side on. We've set all the uh, the fits between the parts so they slide together, um, designed to accommodate a little bit of glue. That's the uh, the basis of a good of a good um, joint is that there's enough space for glue to do its job inside, so it's not a super tight fit. So those two pieces are on, and we'll glue this back piece on. The back piece has a little hole in it, and that hole is for the uh, the control rod. So that hole has to be in line with this little slot so it goes this way not that way so I lied I guess there is a piece that you can get backwards if you try and we'll put a little bit of glue on there and then make, make sure I get some in the, uh, the bottom here the little grooves like so and it just presses in like that Uh, the trick to uh, getting uh, wood glue to, glue to cure is to put a little bit of pressure on it. Um, the modern wood glues that are available now, actually, they tack very quickly. So you only need a, a second or two of pressure and they, they bite right in there quick. So that one's done. All glued up. So next up in our instructions is we just glue the two halves together. And that's easily done. You just put the top on the bottom. These little pins that stick out here will align it. So let's get some glue on there. Now I'm purposely putting glue all over um, and even on those little joints there because that's going to make sure that it bonds really well. I'm going to put some in here because I want to make sure that it's bonded up to the superstructure as well. Like there. Push the two together and I just kind of align them this way. Get this glue off of here. A little bit of pressure to get the bond to cure. There. You can see I've got a little bit of glue on there, but I'm not worrying about it. This is going under the layout, not above it. So there's our structure, our superstructure is done. So uh, next up is we're going to work on the, uh, the mechanical part, the moves. Okay, next up is uh, to uh, form our throw bar uh, wire. Um, it comes with a, a length of wire like this, and we've already put the Z-Bend on there for you. Um, but it does need a little bit more shaping to uh, to fit in place. So uh, that's pretty easily done. This drawing is that's on the drawing is actual size, so you can just lay this on here um, and, and bend it to match. So you can see that this angle is a little bit um, too tight. So we just take a pair of needle nose pliers. We'll hold this, open this up a little bit like that. That's matches pretty good, and then we want to bend it about here, like that. Uh, close, but not quite. Let's go a little bit more. I completely missed that one, so let's fix it. Straighten it back out a bit. Okay, we got her after a few tries. Um, it doesn't. It's, it doesn't have to be super precise, um, but it has to be fairly close to the shape that's on the drawing um, to work well. After it's in place, you can adjust it a little bit, uh, which I'll likely do on this one. Uh, but that's that's pretty good. Okay, now we um, put it into our uh, lever, our lever, pivot, pivot lever again. I'm gonna saw and sand a little bit of this off the side. So on our machine, I want to make sure that the lever arrow is pointing the right way, which it is. And then we'll insert the wire from the top. And it just goes straight into the hole like this. 
This is kind of what we're showing on this drawing. Uh, so it goes straight in the hole, kind of wiggle it a little bit, get it down in there, and then it rotates back like that. There, you can see how that hooked inside, and that's kind of what we're showing in here, like that. And then we also glue on our um, our little switch triggers. Uh, there's two of those. Um, the reason there's two is if you're using two micro switches, most of the time you'll only be using one, um, and that's all I'm going to use on this one. And it goes on the back like this. It just presses into those little holes. So put a little bit of glue on the bottom here. My glue bottle's geared up here. Put a little bit of glue here. It doesn't take much because it's a fairly snug fit on here. And we want the upper, if you're only using one micro switch, you want to use the top hole, the one nearest the little smile here. So you just press that in the hole like that. There. So there's our little switch trigger. Now we're ready to mount this onto our machine with all the uh, all the hardware. Set that aside. So the first thing uh, we want to do is put our, our spring and our ball in place. And that's what this little hole's for. And you can see there's some little grooves there that hold the back of the spring. It just drops in the hole like that. Might be easier if you just grab something to help push it in place. Like that. Okay, and then we drop the ball on top. Just like so. The ball is what uh, what locks everything in place. So now we take our throw bar wire and we insert it up into the hole like that. Slide it all the way up, and then just kind of hold it all in place. And we'll put the uh, the top screw in, which is the shortest of all the screws. There's a bunch of screws. There's uh, some short ones and long ones. The uh, the top screw is the short one. And we put the uh, the washer on the screw. Set this aside here. Like that. Drop this in the hole and screw it into the uh, into the bolt that's in the back. So that little tiny jeweler's screwdriver. You can see it goes right in there and tighten it right up. That way it holds everything while you work. So that one's in. Now we can put in the next the next screw. Um, if you want to uh, make sure that this runs nice and smooth, you can apply a little bit of uh, candle wax on the back of this wooden washer here, this little wooden spacer. Uh, I don't have a candle with me, so I'll, I'll skip that step right now, but uh, if I find that it's tight, I'll, uh, I'll actually hunt one up and, and go back and put a little bit of wax on it. Like that. So you have the, the, uh, the, the screw uh, or the bolt, uh, the washer, and then the wooden washer. And it all just slides in the hole, and then you screw that in place, like that. And again, tighten it right up, like that. And then we go back, and we're going to loosen it about three quarters of a turn, like that much, and then that much. And then we should be able to pop that back and forth nice and freely, which it does. It's working really good. You can see how that locks right in there tight. And that's the, uh, the little ball. You can see it actually springing in and out as the, as the machine goes. Now this, uh, this rot wire here can be, uh, can be adjusted a little bit. You can see it's got a bit of an angle on it. Um, you can either just, I'm just going to push it down a little bit like that. And then maybe I'll square this up a little bit. You know, again, it's, it doesn't have to be, uh, doesn't have to be perfect. This thing's going to work no matter what you do. There we go. So now we got our wire that's that's nice and perpendicular to the surface of the layout and doing exactly what it's supposed to do. And it's got a lot of spring to it. Like you can't throw it out of position. There. There. So now that's uh, that's the mechanical part of the machine. So it's working good. 
the last step is to we'll put our micro switch in place um, if you're using the micro switch for power routing to your frogs which you should um, I mean it's included in the machine it's a very simple step to add it in and to solder on three wires and you got a perfectly powered turnout instead of opting for the dead frog turnouts so I'll explain that next